you guys welcome to a new youtube video my name is kate wamoko as you can see today's video is a recipe video and it's especially dedicated to garlic lovers like me because today we're making garlic and butternut squash naan and it's full of immense there's a whole clove of garlic in this so if you love garlic my friend you're gonna love it So the ingredients we're going to need for this recipe are all-purpose flour, butternut squash puree, some lukewarm water, we're also going to need about 1.5 tablespoons of yeast and some salt to taste. The optional ingredient for this is roast garlic, I added about 6 or 7 kilos of garlic but you don't need to add that if you don't want any. We are also going to make a flavored oil with garlic, dania and spring onion to put on the naan once it comes out of the pan. So the first thing we're going to begin with is to prepare the garlic oil that we're going to use and what I'm going to do is just um, heat some oil and infuse the garlic in it and then we're going to use that for the oil which we're going to put on top of the flat bread, no on the naan once it comes out of the pan. So all I do is to prepare the garlic, this is a very garlic heavy um, None. so if you are not into garlic you can just skip this part making the flavored oil is pretty simple all you need to do is heat the oil in a pan then add in your ingredients the dania spring onion and garlic and then switch off the heat immediately and set it aside and you have flavored oil so the next thing we're going to do is to prepare the dough so i'm gonna cut up the roast garlic and then mix it in with the flour and the yeast and the salt and also the butternut squash puree and some water As you can see at this point the dough is pretty dry without water so I did add about half a cup of water and continue to add some incrementally just to help the dough form. So it can be a little difficult to gauge how much water you need because it depends on how much water is in your puree. For instance, mine was not as thin because I did not add as much water. But I will say just start off with half a cup of water and then add, keep adding it by tablespoons to, so that you do not overwater your dough. And also just keep a bag of flour handy to help you just form the dough in case you add in a bit too much water. With instant yeast, there's no need to let the dough proof, so I just let it rest for about 10 minutes and then on a floured surface, I just rolled it out and then cut it into relatively equal pieces and then rolled this out to form individual pieces of naan. I 
you want your bread to be as thick as you will make chapel say a quarter of an inch thick you don't want to make it too thin so that it does not become too hard or too thick so that it does not cook on the inside so about a quarter inch thick is good enough then cook the bread on a very hot pan you don't need to add any oil or anything just add it onto the pan as is make sure the pan is smoking hot and then once the bread browns on one side turn it on to the other side and this is one of my favorite parts about making naan it is the bubbles that form on the bread because of using the yeast i just love how it puffs up and down and then just repeat for every single piece of bread you have and you've made your bread it's that simple So once your bread is done and you've set it aside, this is the best part. You remember that oil we made a few minutes ago with the garlic and dania and spring onion? Lather it on top of the bread and then just let the bread soak in the oil and the flavor. It's amazing. You might want to taste one right now because it tastes incredible. And just do that for every piece of bread that you put on there until you finish. And we have our garlic naan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this pretty for pictures but do try this recipe it's pretty good especially with this oil it goes really well with chicken any kind of curry even if it's just veggie curry with um, legumes it goes really well with curry um, I like having it for breakfast sometimes I use this as a wrap but it's really good so yeah Thank you for watching this video and catch you next time.